a good day, good day. Bit of a unique two in a rower today, this week as well. But this game came across my desk last night and I could not ignore it. So I'm a big fan of Command & Conquer Renegade. I did not realize that somebody had taken Renegade and made a Red Alert version of it, which is like my dream sequel to Renegade, if there ever was one. Um, the download was actually f quite easy. You just download this launcher, and then you have all these other games. This is a Dune Battle for Assassins. I'm not sure what that one is. Expansive Civilian Warfare. No idea what that one is, but it looks like a like a meme game. Interim Apex, which still has some people playing it. Got some sort of nod GDI certain thing. Tiberian Sun Reborn, which has 38 people playing. And like regular Renegade has 60 people playing right now. So if this doesn't go, uh, I'd be down to try just regular Renegade. There's this little server browser here, Ren Corner Marathon. Not sure what that means. Maybe it's just like, oh, game after game after game. Uh, so we'll have to... Uh, We'll have to see how it uh, how it goes, but for now we're gonna play Red Alert, a path beyond. Hey there, Professor Giggles. There's a single player, but there's a multiplayer. And there's only one server, so it kind of just drops you in. So yeah, both of you, if you want to play, come on in. We're playing right now. Uh, have at least four or five people that we're gonna play, and I think there's bots in this too. I'm not sure how to turn the bots on. Oh, there he is, Professor Giggles, right on. You're already on. You're already on the game, there, bro. Chaos. You should come in and play. So if this is anything like Renegade, I assume. So oh, we have technician, engineer. Two minutes remaining. Starshin, Starshina, Starshina, Captain. So there's a lot more infantry classes than there are in the game. You have oh, attack sub, flamethrower, shock trooper. Oh, that's it for ships? All they have is a tax up. Can I buy it? What's my credits? Oh my god, I can. Oh, we have more truck. Oh, I think I know this map. I think this map is from uh, Standard Renegade. Except they added water. It's, uh, it's a part of the... Uh, it's, it's a mixture between the two there, uh, Spicy. Oh, there it is. How do I get in it? Oh. Ha ha ha, okay. I'm assuming Crouch is submerged. Oh, it is too. <laughs> so what's fire, what's torpedoes? How do I fire torpedoes? Space fire surface. Oh, I gotta be surface to fire torpedoes. Cool. Cool. Oh, we're getting some map bugs there. So yeah, Spicy, if you've never have you ever played Renegade before or heard of Renegade? It's basically Command and Conquer, but you are the units. This is cool. They even have the sonar. I like how you have to surface to fire. That makes it more balanced. There's not a whole lot of room for ships to maneuver out here. Hey, we won. So, uh, Styles was saying last night that he got bots on the go. I don't know how to get bots on the go. It at least gives us something to do. Waiting orders. Old truck ready. New construction options, tech set level, tech level set to five. Oh, maybe that's why there wasn't more ships. It's only level five. What oh, we got? So we got supply truck, ranger, light tank, APC artillery, medium tank, mobile gap gen. The fuck is that? Phase tank, chrono tank, demo truck. Oh, no ships on this one. Okay, um, is there like a settings or something? 
Oh, looky here. This is this is. Oh yeah, this renegade had this as well, actually. <laughs> well, that's all Soviet stuff, is it? Flamethrower. Oh no. Tools, signal flare. Oh, you could call in bombing runs and airstrikes and stuff. Neat. Binoculars, C4, explosive barrel. Vehicles. Cruiser. Oh my god, so you got a cruiser. Destroyer. These look these are these are good models too. Gunboat. Light tank. Longbow helicopter. Holy fuck yeah. Medium tank, mobile life generator. Mobile gap generator. Creates a gap field that halves the radius of the gap generator structure. Can be brought to the front lines. Oh, is that a like a what's it? Um, Oh my god. What's the name of the the fucking towers? Prism, the Prism Towers. So like this is an extra prism that you can like uh laser. Warcraft 1 has always haunted me as something unbeatable, but now I'm on the last two levels. Those go into easy mode thanks to summoning. Oh yeah, absolutely. Especially because in the last level you start with a with a with a conjurer with full so, like all this tech, you just have to wait for him to recharge his uh, mana. Phase tank, ranger. Oh yeah, so the Russians they got a attack submarine. Nice BTR. Chinook. Oh, that's. I want a Chinook for the allies too. That was that's all I did at uh, Renegade Online. Heavy tank, hind gunship. Yeah, mad tank. Mammoth, mammoth tank. MiGs? They got fighters, too? I heard, oh yeah, somebody said they're really janky in this. Missile submarine? Tesla tank. Yak! Yak attack plane. Alright, cool. Uh, still don't know how to put, uh... Oh, something said, something said something about bots, did they? Oh, there's all sorts of keys and stuff. Okay. Somebody said I could drive the ore trucks, too. Oh, they have a pillbox. Can I use this? No. Maybe I'll try calling in my own ore truck. Supply truck. Oh. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's the only thing my weapons do is uh, honk the horn. Because even in Renegade, the Tiberium Harvesters just did their own thing. We gotta go for the diamonds. Oh, I'm under attack by something. Oh, it's like a turret or something. Oh no! I'm just humbly trying to harvest money. Oh my god. Yeah, hey, they got a pill box. That must be that must be Professor Giggles. Yeah, now what do I do here? Hey, and I got points for it. That's cool. Oh, I 
Right, so I obviously need some more firepower here. Sounds and stuff too, that's awesome. Compared to Renegade. So that's the thing that was shooting at me before. Both sides. Now this is doing much. Ah. Ooh, we're building up. Refine. Oh, I'm in the refinery. I right, see so you can buy whatever you want from any. Uh... Of course. Sorry, put some towers. Oh, he survived the, uh... Are there any other weapons? I got a fucking... Oh, I got a Beretta. Can't hide behind a tree, I got explosives. Oh, looks like there's a uh, there's a maximum range to this thing. Oh, snipe! Oh, there is a sprint. Okay. Oh, the flame tower is fully healed. Could repair buildings that are dead. Enemy flame tower Soviet flame tower has been destroyed. Rocket troopers seem pretty good. Oh, we have a third. Oh, fuck. 
Is there a way to talk? How does one commu- oh, uh, F2. Standing over with no base, Mr. Fabius had to beat it. I just did. You didn't know how to beat that before? That's all uh, catapults, man. Just line up at a bridge with catapults and just lure the enemies in. Oh, how cool is that? How long before I can chrono shift? Oh, I see the school down. Oh, I sniped him. It's a 2v1 right now, Professor Giggles. I'm sorry. Not on this server. We'd have to join the co op. I'll just don't just don't mantle. I'm trying to mantle this box. Oh, you fool! Oh, let's go try to steal his tank. <laughs> All right. Uh, so he says there's a co-op server. So let's do that. Um. So let's see what uh, what we can do. Oops. Oh, okay. There we go. Join server. Yes, sir. Okay. Ah, there it is. Right on the ribbon. Yeah. Uh, I just switched over to the co-op server. Here. Oh, Soviets now, okay. Mammoth tank, mad tank, demo truck. Oh, there's aircraft. Oh, where's my Chinook? How much money do I have? Fuck! Okay, that's my goal. I'm gonna make a Chinook. Uh, F2 there, Giggles. F2. Is there a map button? That's neat. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where the fuck I'm going. <laughs> Man, it's too bad games like this don't, uh... Don't exist anymore. Or, like, aren't, um... Popular. Or mainstream. Because this... 
Silica is a lot like this, but Silica, I think, is a little too big. Like, the maps are gigantic. And there's a lot of, uh... Huh. And there's a lot of just, like, running in the desert or driving in the desert. But that game has commanders, too. How do you switch to the co-op server? Uh, okay, so go to the, your, your launcher and hit on the server tab and scroll down until you'll see uh, a path forward co-op. Oh, you're already in here. Never mind, sorry. Oh, he just, just left the game. Oh, hold on, that's... Krukov? Krukov's in this game? Oh, it's Krukov. How much did I need for the Chinook? 4,000, I think. Whoa. This is hard. Are we against... I guess it's like we're against the Allies, but they have Russian names. Oh, there we go. Brown. Turret's helping us out there. You got it? Right on. Heavy tank ready. Names of characters from the Red Alert games? Okay. But yeah, they didn't have enough allied names. You, you don't even need all of them to be characters. You can just call them one like Steve, <laughs> Carl, John. Oh, even the bots chat. That's funny. Oh, cool. I'm pinned down in this bunker over here. Is ammo unlimited? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, Daka's got a flamethrower. It's a flame trooper. I wonder if there's a... Uh, I think there is. There's a button. I think there's a button to switch to third person mode. Oh! Catapult's also a janky one and killing my units. So I guess what I never figured out how to use. Oh, <laughs> you just need to throw catapults at the enemy and you will eventually win. Hey there, Channel Lurker. Channel Lurker, you should play with us. Oh, I'm just back at our base. I don't know where the fuck to go. Sorry, once I got a Chinook, it'll all change. It's nap time? All right, buddy. I had a nap this afternoon, too. I helped my, my friend move his shed this morning, and then I came back. I had some Quiznos, and I passed out. To, uh, to Red Letter Media reviewing the new Neil Breen film. I don't know if you uh, you know who Neil Breen is, but he's amazing. This map's kind of creepy. What like the song is? Ooh, what's going on down here? Oh, we got a new guy, Goku Black. Is he one of mine? Is he one of ours? I'm well deep in this now, holy shit. So, can I just like... Oh, we got five now? Holy shit, we're gonna have a whole bloody team here, that's good. Maybe it's because uh, there are other other players from other servers, and they're seeing this one getting some attention. Enemy 
boys, I am so lost in the depths of the, the earth right now. <laughs> Oh, I see light. I still don't know where I am. I'll follow the ore truck. Hey, Yuri. It's a grenadier. Okay. Oh, yeah, if the sound is too loud for the stream, let me know, by the way. Oh, I almost have enough. I almost have enough. We're going back to my, my dream. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's only 1,200. Oh, my God. I thought it was 4,000 for some reason. All right. So what do I, how do I, how do I operate this guy then? Oh, we got a guy inside. Anybody else need a ride? Okay, I'm assuming space bar. Right, here we go. Oh, I have Flight of the Valkyries. Okay, let's do that again. That was... <laughs> As if you have a... Uh... Launchers, MIGs, oh, that's fucking dope. <laughs> Doc, are you trying to figure out the controls in that thing? There you go, there you go. In the air tower, I got you, Professor Giggles. Can you get to the roof? Oh, you can. Okay, hang on. I'll land on the roof for you. One second. This is gonna go bad. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going. Oh, I see a friendly tank over here. Let's go. Uh... Hey, there's a uh, Daka and a fighter. He's in the MiG. Okay. I kind of want. You know, this is a good way to just like see what the map is. Like, I have no idea. Where is the enemy base? Oh, we got a tank. Oh shit! There's a tank over there. Um, what weapons do you... Oh, there we go. What weapons do you have there, Giggles? Because I can, like, let you out on this little rock here and you can maybe snipe their defenses or something. Or we could go... I can take you back to base. Oh, there we go. Hang on. Let's drop you off. Nice. There we go. Oh, it's too bad you don't get out the back, you know, like the, the ramp goes down. And,
<laughs> Can you hear that, Giggles? My, uh... Oh, shit. Drewski, get in here, bruh. We got, uh, we got... We had five people. I don't know where the, uh... <laughs> Mig is too advanced. Too, too many controls. That's like everybody who gets into fighters in uh, Battlefield. They get into a fighter, then they immediately blow it the fuck up because they don't know how to play. <laughs> Go back to main base there. Uh, Daka will get a get a get a rocket launcher or something, and I'll take it. Oh no, you're getting to the hind. But does your hind have flight of the Valkyries? Because mine sure does. Look at the bots are buying vehicles left and right too. Did I pick up? Will bots get in? Oh, there's giggles. Oh, there's giggles there. Oh, you want the mammoth tank? I'll just chill here. This is what I did in Renegade. I would chill here, and then people would get like nuclear strike beacons, and then uh... oh, it's too bad I couldn't like pick up your tank. You know, with like a like a cable and like bring it. <laughs> How is how I'm so sad that I never knew this existed as uh, as a young man. I would have played the shit out of this. <laughs> it's not carry on. Hey, listen, you can do that in the Chinook in Command and Conquer Generals has that ability. You can pick up vehicles. I should at least be able to drop drop something. Here. Eagles get in. We're bailing. Oh, shit. I used to do this in Battlefield 1942 as well. I used to, uh, I used to get into the, the planes and, like, drop, drop people off and pick them up in hot zones and stuff. I got really good at landing, uh, aircraft in that game. Yeah, Red Alert, A Path Beyond. Uh, the co-op server. Jo join the co-op server. So when you want, when you launch the launcher, you can just like hit play now, and it'll just put you in the default server where nobody was in. Or if you hit, you go to the server browser. You can go to the co-op server, and uh, and then jump in there. That's where we are. Enemy war factories under attack. Oh, we're attacking. We're making progress on their base. Oh, they got aircraft. They have a Comanche. Oh, the Yak. That's like the uh, the World War II plane, is it? Go box down. Oh, we won! Oh, wow. That was easy. Ha! <laughs> That's dope. Alright, we need we need some ships on the go. I need to get to a level with ships. Oh, we're allies now? What, what, what is going on? Yeah, okay, we're allies. My gun is, uh... Oh, whoa, every... Oh, there must be, like, an invisibility, uh... Like, uh, filter or something? It's the gap generator. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, I thought the gap generator was, like, a prism tower. So I guess if you get in the gap truck, you'll be able to, uh... 
Um, Is that the enemy base already? Oh shit. That can't be the enemy base. This, this, got, this has got to be like a central area. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah. Supply truck. Oh. <laughs> Artillery. <laughs> says I stole a forklift. What? <laughs> This thing, can you get in? Oh, this thing has flighty ass controls. It's like uh, driving a forklift on a on a nice rink. Oh, not to worry, I got this guy. Oh, I actually got him. Oh, fuck. Hey, Drewski's in. It is done. Alright, what else do we have here? Longbow. Longbow. Enemy flame tower is under You know what? Let's try the ore truck. Ore truck ready. Let's just, let's go harvest some more for the team. Right here, too. Right on. Oh, how shitty is this gonna go? Oh, fuck. This game actually works better than Silica 2. But it's Silica's being made by one guy, so I don't blame him. Oh! More truck under fire! I gotta get to the gap! Daniel! Bot Daniel, save me! Can you use the the base defenses there, Doctor? Can you drive like the or like operate the SAM sites and shit? Now, I don't think I've seen any, uh, I don't think there's aircraft carriers or dreadnoughts in this, right? They're accurate beyond needing. 
I can imagine those are probably really hard to kind of program in this engine to have uh, an aircraft carrier and a dreadnought, but that'd be so dope. Alright, let's go for some diamonds. Oh, I should have went for those diamonds. Alright, let's go for those diamonds. Is this Scorp guy in our in our in in uh in our chat or whatever, or is he just just uh just a dude that's that plays this game? I wonder if I wonder if he's excited that uh that somebody's actually playing this mode. He's, he probably likes this mode and nobody plays it. Diamonds don't even fire with the long way. <laughs> Tanya, oh yeah, you can be Tanya. Would like what, is the Renegade X team? Would they be working on something like this? Because oh my god, I'm sad. Like you know, since that Renegade X is pretty much done, and I would say it's almost dead. Like not a lot of people play it anymore. At least when I checked, it'd be uh, really cool if they were working on a futuristic version of this or a new version. I would say futuristic. They're working on Tiberium Sun. Oh, still though, that's still pretty cool. Wait, isn't that what uh, Reneg like Renegade X is? Tiberium Sun, or is that Tiberium Dawn? I guess it would be because there's no like walkers and stuff, eh? Okay, okay. Scorp is killing it over there. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey, Archeon. Archeon. You should pop on. Oh, the Easter egg units. Oh, okay, okay. Truck keeps running like moves, so I'll just park it here. There we go. Oh, he's not harvesting that. Oh, you're downloading? Right on. The launcher's being funky. So when you. Oh, I'm under attack! Oh, shit! Yeah, his ore truck is getting shot by a, two tanks and a fucking dude. Trying to harvest the diamonds. Diamonds! Everyone loves diamonds! You get away from me. Oh, I found a sweet spot. Ha 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 Ouch! Jesus. We're full. Let's get the fuck out of here. Cause shit, if we get enough people, we might have enough for uh, an actual, like, match. If you get, like, 8 player, like, 16 player, I don't know, 12 players? I don't know, how much do you think would be enough for a, a, 
a versus match in this. Ah, Klopaki's got a character, nice. Should have repaired my truck. Oh! The West Diamonds are hot. The West Diamonds are hot. Oh, my truck is too fat. Oh, I have seven health. I have seven health. <laughs> Just harvesting. Probably a minimum of twelve. That's what I would think too. Actually, six a six aside would probably be a good uh, good try. Comrade, minutes remaining. Comrade, all truck waiting ready. orders. All right. How do you kick? What? Oh, how do you do those? I, ah, must be key for it. Oh, your rocket trooper, your conscripts. We got, oh, we got, oh, is the flex, off, flex offender is that our K-On? Or is that just another? Oh, it's just the map that uh, me and Professor Giggles were on. Oh, we got Storm right. Oh my god, we have eight players now. Holy shit. Bots get harder the more players. It looks, Jesus, it looks like it. <laughs> Might be a bit loud, but. Curious with the Doom mods. Yeah, yeah. What we got here then? Uh, mine layer? Let's try that. Mine layer ready. Kavanaugh, you're doing great. Enemy pillbox is under attack. Our pillbox has been destroyed. Uh, 
Oh, I can knock him out. <laughs> he is doing great. Ooh, this thing motors. Woo! Oh, it's slippery. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so how do I lay mines in? Can't tell if I laid any mines. Oh, jeez. Oh, do I have to like refill at the, uh, the base? Let's try that. Oh, he does. Okay. What's, uh, what's that? There's, uh, there's another. Oh no, that, that's a, uh, that's another. Are oh, you trying to play spicy? This is a, uh, a path forward. The red star. So my mines are going down, but I'm not sure if they're actually like getting killed. Oh, uh, somebody destroyed my uh, anti. Okay, so my mines are working. Somebody killed one. Right on. Ground vehicles, helicopters, mines, mine layers, replenish ammunition, and units can be sold by person with access. Oh, you can sell units. That's cool. <laughs> the bots is taunt, dude. Your maps is bad. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I got him for you, Drew. Land mines in the enemy front line. Ah! Oh, I think I killed somebody with my mine layer. Nice. All right, what do we got now? Heavy tank. V2 rocket, Tesla tank, Mammoth tank. Let's try the V2 rocket. Building. V2 launcher ready. V2 launcher ready. Under attack. 
Desky stole my truck. Oh, <laughs> he bought one too. <laughs> I believe um, Renegade. Your vehicle has been bound to you. Oh, okay. So like a Renegade had a similar thing where you could lock your vehicles, and uh, that means like nobody else could steal your vehicles as you bought them. That's cool. Can I can I get up here? Oh, this is not gonna end well. I can't get all. Oh, I'm losing. I'm losing. that guy. Why waste a V2 rocket at a temperature like that? Holy shit! Like a uh, double man seats or anything, eh? Like I can't like get into somebody else's tank and help them shoot. Oh, I guess they had the APC probably. Yeah. Wang or wang. Turn. I think I need to turn down the game sounds because it's pretty loud. That's better for you. I'm impressed I could actually do damage to this fucking thing with my assault rifle. people now. Holy shit. This is sick. Okay. Heavy tank. Mads. I still, I don't really know what a Mads tank is. Is a demo truck like a suicide truck? Because I'm fucking going for it. Oh, I've got a nuclear... <laughs> I have a nuke in the back. Alright. Fuck this up. Press fire. We have the ball. We're Styles, he knows what the, the demo truck and red alerts or uh, general says. Or on the floor. No, that's quite can. Quite can. Not turn. Uh, oh shit! Oh no! Damn it. 
<laughs> well, I didn't make it. Did I almost do a technician? Oh my god, so... What the fuck? What's this do? Got a pistol, structural repair tool. Does this, uh, is that the only thing I have? Does this work on vehicles? Does this work on people? It does not work on people. If that's you, there, Nichols, can I repair you? Oh no, you don't need repairs. Is somebody using this thing? Hey, I'm hitting something there. Hey, I destroyed it. Hey, I got their war factory too. Sick. Oh shit. Alright, Juice Guy. I don't know if this repairs your fucking tank, but. What happened to you? Well, you're not taking any damage, but... Maybe I can repair these guys' tanks. Daka, is your tank damaged? Damage either. Can I repair your tank now? Oh, it does not work. I'm trying to repair. Okay. I must I must need to uh, there must be like a vehicle repair guy or something. Maybe that guy only does buildings. Engineer, fuck of course. Tesla tank, ready. Hey there, Kayon, Kayon's in. Alright, how do we, uh... I have a shovel, what the fuck does this thing do? Enemy construction yard is under attack. 
Enemy service depot is under attack. Heavy tank ready. Hmm. Unit lost. Enemy construction yard is under attack. Destroyed. A little confused as to what all these classes are. Oh, I gotta finish it off. And, oh no, it's too late. I was gonna get a demo truck. So we got naval action this next map. I'm excited for this now. I just gotta get enough money for one. Thirty minutes remaining. Truck. Destroyer, Waiting. gunboat, LST, okay. Waiting orders. New construction options. Out. Out. Oh, he gave me money for uh, a boat. Okay. It's a good thing I died. Awaiting orders. Okay. Waiting orders. These structures are impressive too, like the the graphic, like the model on this shipyard is pretty cool. Looks like you can get into some firefights like inside and shit. <laughs> Destroyers are fucking cheap, holy shit. Whoa, oh I can automatically put into it. Oh yeah, jump on. Is there multiple seats? Oh, you got your own? Alright. The model for this ship is pretty nice, actually. Do the, do the bots use ships? Does... I wouldn't expect them to. Fucking fleet of uh, destroyers, that's awesome. This is a small map, holy crap. Oh, somebody's repairing it, neat. Power it down. Yes. My ship's on fire. I kind of want to see what happens when it dies. Does this does it sink or does it just like straight up explode? Hey, it sinks. That is cool.
Enemy flame tower is under attack. Medium tank ready. Oh. Medium tank ready. Enemy sub is under attack. Soviet flame tower has been destroyed. Unit lost. Enable unit lost. Enemy sub is under attack. They even have like they even have a Pathfinder radar like a back in vehicle grab late lunch right on their uh, Drewski. This is fun. We'll, we'll probably be playing this for a bit. I'm quite impressed at how well this works. Like how the naval the ships like pop in and how they can leave and the controls are really clean for even the helicopters as well. Man, I'm sad I never played this in a Tayday. ships don't seem to be overpowered or anything either, other than the fact that the bots don't seem to use them. Can you rebuild buildings after they're dead, or is it just like toast forever? Oh, they're, they're power repairing it, okay. I'm quite impressed that the, the AI uh, is smart enough to repair their buildings. Repairing it. Ah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Get it. Oh, we almost have it. We almost have it. Nice. Thank <laughs> you. 
fires destroyed. Misses. I guess it like in certain ranges your missiles kind of like go rogue, so you don't you're not able to like snipe the enemies from your base kind of thing. I like that. Alright, what we got in this one? Rockets again. Oh, not much. Our attack begins. Oh, Hell March is playing. Super chat from Mighty Sherlock. Five pounds, remember, switching to your Drew Star is faster than playing as Kendra. There's the prompt, I was waiting for that. Thanks a lot there, uh, Sherlock. Heroes play through Sunday. Oh, absolutely. I uh, I play Kingdom Under Fire all the time. Well, not all the time on stream, but I play it a lot. Um, I actually streamed it a couple times last year, but the, the VODs, I think, are all gone. Uh, let's try this guy. I probably won't do like a deathless run or anything of it because uh, the game is so vastly different from Crusaders, but yeah, I like Heroes a lot, despite its flaws, like the pathfinding bugs and shit like that. I actually did a mod uh, a mod showcase of Heroes last year sometime, and it was really cool. And if I was to actually play it again, I would play with mods because the mods are harmless. It just like makes it so you can have paladins in your main squad as Walter or uh, uh the Crusader guys with the sword and shield for like Ellen and stuff like that. I like. I really like those. Um, those mods are really cool. But thanks for the uh, the thanks for the donation, buddy. It's highly appreciated. If you're not busy, you should pop on, play with us. I'm surprised we have this many people. Oh, we had more. We had like almost twelve. This lad super hard. Eh, oh. Waiting for the 
remember your series from when you were still serving. Oh, yeah, yeah. I played a lot of Crusades in the original Xbox many years. Attempted to grab the collection on Steam. Never forget Gerald's theme with the map themes. Oh, yeah. Well, so I highly recommend you try the PC version. Like, uh, just because the convenience, you know, uh, sh uh, Sherlock, the convenience of playing it on the PC, and it runs real smooth, but there are port issues. Like, it does have, like, some maps have pathfinding bugs where your units don't fucking move. Uh, or won't move where you tell them to, and there's a couple little, uh, like, soft lock areas and everything. But, overall, it's it's like the best you can get other than playing on the original Xbox. And I, I don't complain because of that reason. Flamethrower. See, you might, you've watched my old series then. Yeah, that's like bloody shit. That's like four or five years ago now. Not more. Hell. Oh, how come you got a tank? I didn't have the option for that tank, did I? Oh, you're heading out there, Revan? Well, thanks for uh, popping in when you could there, Revan. It's good fun. You've not played APB in about 10 plus years. Oh, you so you've, you have played this before then. That's cool. I am shocked that I've never heard of this. I'm a huge Red Alert fan and a huge uh, Renegade fan. So the fact that I've never heard of this, a Red Alert a Renegade, like, holy shit. Maybe it's because it didn't have a campaign. If I had a campaign, I would have probably fucking played the shit out of it as a kid. Or whenever this was a, this was a thing. But this is wild. This is awesome so far. And it's got bots, which is pretty cool. So you don't have to worry about... Um low player counts are playing with like hardcore sweat lords pathfinding bugs were ca catapults to screw it oh yeah even worse than that there Sherlock um, to the point where like you're tell your units to like go to a go f straight forward like two inches and they'll either spin around in circles or they just won't move and they'll be like getting shot by stuff um, but yeah, the catapults and scorpions are still being janky as shit. I actually streamed uh, Crusaders last week. Um, I did Gerald's campaign in about seven or eight hours or something like that. I absolutely crushed it on the defense to defend the, the castle mission. Oh yeah, I can't make heavy tanks. Shit, I'm dumb. Um, yeah, I beat that level in like ten minutes. So much that Rupert like showed up and was like, bruh. I actually beat the speedrun of that, the speedrun timing of that level, because uh, Corbs came in and was like, he, he, his, his, he's the world record holder, and he beat it, that level like 10:15, and I beat it in like 9:57 or something like that. APB was really mad in the past, being able to drive harvesters, actual areas and air maps. Last other call they were working on. Another two version of Renegade. They, so like that, like Renegade X, you know? Are they, are they, so they're making a Red Alert version of Renegade X because that's sick. Uh, when I played Renegade Vanilla, I used to just fly the Chinook. I've already done it today. I would just fly the Chinook, pick people up, and drop them off with like uh, um, like uh, ion cannon beacons and stuff. Turret is actually, it's really hard to cheese that thing. <laughs> Ouch. Ah, we got it, nice. Yeah, 
What's the button for, um... Yeah. Oh, he won. Nice. Uh, just that level, though. Just that level. I was I was trying to see what else I could break. I broke it. Uh, well, not break, but I was able to cheese. Wow, the sun's come out hard. It was like six degrees like two hours ago. Um, minutes remaining. Uh, like the level where you have to like escort Rupert. I actually managed to kill all of like the level 100 dudes in the map. And then it breaks the invisible wall so you can just walk through. Um... So if you really wanted to, but like the, the only reason you would do that is for the experience. So you get like 7,000 experience, but it was really neat. I've never tried that before. I always thought that there was, there was an invisible wall that wouldn't let you uh, yes, sir. go in there. But it turns out, yeah, you can just... Uh, Supply truck ready. Ooh, flex fenders go on supply truck. I was thinking about doing that this map actually. I'll uh, stick to being lost as fuck though. I feel like I should be going this way. It's like with Rainier, if your patience and easy 14,000 XP, yeah, it makes supply the game a lot more forgiving. Oh ready. man, it, 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 it makes you so over leveled. After discovering that for my deathless run, um, that you can kill them with not only the uh, archers, because I, I knew you could do that with archers. I didn't realize that you could do it with Gerald, too. Like, just killing one of his orcs would get you fucking uh, 7,000 experience or something, so. Ooh, random truck. This might be a good map for picking people up. Um, but yeah, to get, like, on the third, because, like, up until that point, you've been getting like 14 experience per per level. All the bots won't get into that. Now. You'll be you'd be getting like 14 experience per mission, and then all of a sudden to have 14,000, you're like, oh my god, I don't even know what to do. And then like every level after that, you're fighting against like level 10 orcs, and you're like level 30, and you're just spanking them with your uh, longbows or whatever else. You're like I had level 30 catapults for the for the castle defense mission. Well, I found the enemy. Get him! Oh. oh shit! Volkov, that's the villain from uh, Knowing This Forever. It's a good game. The song in this map is Vector. Great song by Frank. Yeah, that's that's cool. I, uh, Frank is such a good composer. I'm glad he's doing the soundtrack for Tempest Rising. It is it's such like a such irony, you know. Like, whoa! All right, well, it is done. Recording. There is still much to be done. The bot made fun of my death. That's funny. Oh, mechanic, he probably repairs vehicles. I kept, oh my god, I used every class other than the, the class that 
Phase tank can be ready. Deployed. He's under attack. Where the fuck? Where the hell am I? Is this the exit? Where's the exit? Oh. Oh, I'm in the radome. Okay. Soviet Tesla coil has been destroyed. When I like those the command conquer even like Red Alert two, uh, they're awesome games. But like watching like pro matches and stuff is not as exciting because all it is, especially with one the remaster, all it is is like tanks on tanks, like light tanks on light tanks or medium tanks on medium tanks. And then Red Alert two is nothing but like rhinos on uh, grizzlies. Like you rarely ever see people making ships, if at all, which is a shame because. They're my favorite units, and you don't see people making, like, uh, mammoth tanks, or... You, you might see, um, the terror drones, but, uh, yeah, I don't think you'll ever see anything else other than mostly just, like... Like, you don't see, like, aircraft that much unless somebody's doing something really cheesy. Oh, that's an enemy! I'm under fire. I need to fuck out of here. <laughs> like I just ran him over. Oh, can I drive? Get out! Can I get in here? What? No way. What's the point of having a Jeep if I can't get in it? Can I, like, manually get myself in it? Oh, that's lame. Of all vehicles, so not let you get in the passenger seat. I guess I guess Renegade itself didn't have a lot of like multiple people vehicles. I think the APC is the only one, or did he even? Door sucks. It's, the ammo capacity is so bad. I'm bad at the game, so you can't judge me for that. Oh my god. Why can't these buildings just have a fucking door to get out? Where even am I? The power plant? Okay. Artillery ready. Power turret is under attack. Explosive charge placed. Is 
So with this thing, I can't repair buildings, but I can repair vehicles. Does a turret count as a building or a vehicle? His health is going up, but I don't know if that's me or not. So he's an engineer, and he just went to repair it. Oh, he had a wrench. What? How come I don't have a wrench? When I was an engineer. I'm so confused as to those classes. Okay. Soviet refinery has been destroyed. Looks like we're about to win anyways. Cabin up here. Explosive charge placed. That's all you got. Heh. <laughs> That's neat. You can go in. You can go in. What's in the shed? Oh, that's where one of the tunnels must go, is it? Oh, yeah. You must be able to get into. Oh, maybe not. I was going to say, you might be able to, like, sneak into enemy bases through these cool tunnels and stuff on the map. That's cool. Soviet barracks has been destroyed. Enemy radar down is under attack. Our turret is under attack. Unit lost. Our service depot is under attack. of charge. Placed. Enemy radar, though, is under attack. Hit this thing with my wrench. Oh, wow, you can blow up the walls, too? That's cool. Are there any Soviet Navy maps coming up? I'd like to try out the... Uh, well, the subs probably would be useless because the, the enemy doesn't yes, make ships. Affirmative. Oh, we're Russians. Okay. Alright, what do we got? So it's a supply truck, I'm assuming it's just a truck. There we go, I can pick, pick some people, bring them to the fight. Oh, there's enemies here already? in there. So this is like a close quarters map then, eh? I'm just going fucking ham on the rams. Get back here. Attack. 
Unit ready. So like I can't get in that, can I? That's that's too bad. That's a missed opportunity. Or silo. The, the bots are pretty, pretty tack, pretty, uh, pretty tricky. Oh, shit, start sniper. Where the fuck? Jesus Christ, I'm so confused. Our service depot is under attack. Our power is under attack. Is there a map button? I gotta look for a map button here. Learn to stay away from underground. Gentlemen's clubs in Iceland now. <laughs> Since the last time, absolutely. I thought I I've, I have redeemed myself in that uh, in that respect. Meaning, I found I found some better places. Not in Iceland, though. I haven't actually been to Iceland since that uh, since that sale, Operation Trident Juncture. Is this as far? Oh, okay, no, it's okay. Enemy war. Our power is Fucking good luck sniping in this game. <laughs> oh, you go up here though. That's good. To be fair, those those people at that uh, nightclub in Iceland were very polite. For having stolen my money. I just think I was just too drunk and and I made an irresponsible choice. It's hard to say if they actually robbed me or not. Oh fuck! Oh there's headshots in this game. Oh, they came up here too. Oh, I was gonna say, did I find the cheat code? Standing on their barracks to confuse them. Yes, Clever bots. Clever bots. That's cool. I'd still go back though. I'd still go back to Iceland, despite the. Uh, I still say it's one of my favorite places to have visited, despite the fact that the third time I went, I got fucking. I lost two thousand, two two and a half thousand dollars. Oh my god!
I don't know where to go, Giggles, so <laughs> I'll follow you. Can I destroy these things? No. Looks like we both went the wrong way here. Oh, would an engineer be able to clear these out? With the shovel? The guy with the shovel? I'm gonna go try. Stand by, gentlemen. Uh, what's an engineer or... Yeah. Shovel. There we go. Enemy war factory is under attack. Oh, it does work. Boys, engineer on the, on the job. Oh, I guess you're gonna blow them, blow it up too. <laughs> the pot says, "What the fuck was that?" That was a strange map. That map was like super tight, eh? Swamp of Illusions, next map. Oh my god. 30 minutes remaining. Reporting. Oh, real, uh, real small time map here. Maybe I'll go ore, refi ore, ore harvester in this one. Pacific Threat, that sounds good. <laughs> I miss where's all the maps of the aircraft. I want to go back to being a Chinook or, or a MiG. Down to five now. Oh, Drewski's back though. Mod is dead. <laughs> Oops. These, these bots are cute. Oh, I see on the, co the compass now. It says the direction of the enemy base, I think. So.
can swim. Oh, there you go. Look at who, who said earlier that the Chinooks couldn't carry vehicles. That's exactly what's happening. That's what I want for a Chinook. Oh, hell yeah, I'm going for these diamonds. I like how the map's even different, like the way that you drop in vehicles. That's really cool. Man, this mod's nuts. It's like really good. <laughs> Again, it's a friggin' crying shame I never heard of this. I would have loved this when it was in its prime. <laughs> Here goes this is an ore truck, too. We're probably going to lose this map because everyone's harvesters. We're going to have $9,000, but nothing to spend it on. The fact that you could be a harvester, though, is so awesome. Like, not even Vanilla Renegade, you could be a harvester. Yeah, right? Like, I like the idea because for people that maybe just want more, want to just kind of like chill and not uh, work too hard or aren't very good at the game, like, you could just sit in a harvester and just, and you can, you still get points and you help your team. Like, it's, it's, like, it's, it's awesome. I love that idea of being just like a support. I tried doing that with that game Foxhole, but that game was just way too much. Like, I would have preferred if it was like, in, uh, isolated skirmishes like this like 20 on 20 but one pl like two or three players play as harvesters one person's repairing the base other kind of shit maybe one guy's in the, it's like, it's like on, on long range artillery and he has a teammate's map like uh, targeting points on the map for him to shoot It's the case too in Renegade, isn't it? Like if your harvester is dead, you're 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 kind of fucked too until it like they retrain the harvesters automatically, I think. But uh, you can kind of like choke the enemy's resources by just sniping their harvesters or something, even though they're really strong. I might get in a tank after this. This I'll do one more load. I'll get in a tank.
And it makes sense that this is uh, Red Alert 1, technically, because of the fact that not only do we not have unique harvesters. Well, Styles is here for a second. Um, like, you don't have, like, the chrono. the chrono harvester or the. what's it, the armored harvester for the uh, Soviets with a little machine gun on it? As I recall, Foxhole, besides some loggy player strikes, they added DDVB and SS is playable multiple naval vessels and also single hull breaches. Oh, they did, yeah, yeah. I, I tried playing Foxhole when they did the naval update. Problem was, like, I couldn't get into a ship to save my life because every time I got into a ship, I either got kicked or, like, team killed to get out or somebody took it, took my seat from me or something. It was. That game, there's a lot of hardcore players that really don't like if you don't play the way they want to play, at least from my experience. So, like, there's like all these established clans and regiments and stuff, so it kind of just fucked me over and I just... I couldn't even get into transport, like, uh, landing vehicles efficiently without getting uh, yelled at by people. Saw you in the game for a second. What happened? We, we had a good, we had a group of about twelve people here uh, about half hour ago. Yeah, joining work. Yeah, uh, for us, it's just the server. You go to the server list instead of play now, and it should bring you to. Uh, there's only two. So there's only one co-op server and one. Well, you were playing this last night yourself, weren't you? Somebody's repairing the shit out of this fucking building, and it's driving me nuts. I think Archaon went in there and killed him. Nice. My favorite argument is when you, they run into the road and get act surprised when they got run over. Play stupid games with stupid presents. Yeah, you can't, uh, you can't, you can't win against them though. Like, you can't argue against any of those hardcore players. Because, like, that's their whole life is that the uh, uh, game or situation. Oh, we got, oh, Chinooks, yes! Alright, that's my goal. Oh, is there a Navy on this map? Oh, fuck, they have subs and uh, helicopters? Damn it! I have to. I have to balance what I want to do. Do I want to do? Oh, I'll do. So I'll do subs first, and then I'll do a helicopter after. Attack sub ready. Affirmative. Oh, they. Uh, you can make subs right away. Acknowledge. I probably want to be a missile sub though, don't I? Because uh, if there's no ships to shoot, then the sub is kind of worthless, isn't it? about your experience so very refreshing with those same players more about lack of players well we were talking about this last night there uh, 
Sherlock. Natural Selection 2 is... And Conqueror's Blade are the two prime examples of that exact argument. That um, they'll always complain. Oh no, there's not enough players, not enough players. Uh, the game's dying, game's dying. And then the moment a new player comes in, they'll be like, you're a uh, fucking, you're a noob, get out of here, piece of shit, like you don't know how to play, get off this weapon or get out of this vehicle. And you're like, well, how the fuck do you expect them to learn and then become a good player if you don't give them a chance? Like, we were all there one day. We were all booting the game up for the first time and we were all bad. The games are the funnest when they first just come out because everyone's bad in the game and nobody knows the meta yet. There, Styles, you're in now. There you go. Oh, I'm swimming. That's why I can't shoot. Oh, yes. Missile sub time. No prisoners, no survivors. How do I get the fuck out of here? Oh, oh, that's cool. Okay, uh, what? Where am I? Eh. Where's the fucking sub pen? Is it over here? Oh, there it is. Okay. Giggles, we're ramming. No prisoners. Oh my God! This... Okay, so don't leave the subs. Okay, man, these models are good, dude. All right, missile sub's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, and he can just shoot normally. Sick. Oh, so it's basically a cr kind of like a cruiser, I suppose. All right, 11 FM ballistic missile. Storm V611 Sam. Missile from underwater? No. Makes sense, though. Not even need to go, uh. Ha! 
That's awesome. Like, they didn't have to do that, right? Well, first of all, I broke the game. Because I'm walking underwater. I'm the reverse of Jesus. Oh, shit. I'm I'm proper stuck under here. <laughs> okay, I can suicide, though. Um, They didn't have to add, like, the actual, like, Russian sub alarms and stuff. That's fucking cool. Oh, I only have $32. What? Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought I would have money saved up. Oh, the bots are all in our sub pen. Cool. It's like, oh my god, can you get a sub in here? That looks cool. There's like a, there's like a hidden uh, bay inside of the uh, middle of the map. It looks like you can actually fucking drive a sub into a cave and get up there. That's wild. It's <laughs> like three hell three helos in action right now. Oh, Scorp gave me some money. Yes, sir. Build enemy barracks. He's under attack. It's strange how the Americans don't, or the Allies don't get a Chinook. Transport helicopter ready. Alright. Is there super weapons in this? I don't think there is. Red Alert 1 didn't have nukes and uh, ion cannons and shit, right? Or chrono spheres. Better couldn't pick the damn bots up. <laughs> Holy shit, our sub pen's dead. Woo! That's wild. Just guess we're all in helicopters. <laughs> I chose the wrong helicopter to use because everyone else is already <laughs> in helicopters. 
Who needs a ride? Somebody needs a ride somewhere, right? Okay, on you, you look like you need a ride somewhere. I think we got Styles over there finishing off the enemy. They still have a defense somewhere. Oh, shit. Oh, I had 32 health left in that thing. Swamp of Illusions? We just did that map. Ew. I won't do that map again. Oh yeah, radar. Oh, you can vote for maps? That Sherlock or that Shinnok is more durable than the battle battler. <laughs> yeah. But the Shinnok doesn't have any uh, guns on it though, unfortunately. That's right, Stalin was the villain of the first game, not uh, Premier Romanov. the Discord voice I suppose, yeah. Uh, I think in my Discord it's a... Uh... Supply truck? Oh yeah, there's a keys to press in this, isn't it? Control? Oh. Alt? Control one? Oh! Yeah, I think I think I have a voice chat thing in my uh, Discord that I can open up. There's not a whole lot of strategy going on <laughs> in this, to be honest, though. Hey there, Nichols. What's going on, buddy? You should play along if you want. We're playing with a bunch of the uh, community here. I got a rocket launcher for their turret, whatever that is. Oh, 
shit, that got a lot of damage. Oh, there it is. Fuck. Yes, sir. Trading. Ready and waiting. Oh, it says I can get in the supply trucks. That's what I, last, yeah, Styles, that's what I did last time I played this map. I just went harvesting the whole time. <laughs> Is the harvester multi C? Oh, it is. <laughs> of all the vehicles to have two seats. There's literally no point in me being in there, I guess, if I wanted a little transport. Hey, Generic Eric, what does the technician do? I think the technician repairs buildings. The engineer removes, like, hedgehogs and mines. And the mechanic repairs vehicles. I think. Where's the fucking turret? I can't see it. I keep going rocket trooper. I keep dying because I can't fucking see the turret. Oh my god. I was like completely surrounded there. Yeah, wasted all my money on the. Uh... Oh my god, I can never figure out how to get out of these buildings. Hey, Drewski's got a truck, let's do this. I wish it was first person in the trucks. Oh, you can! Except it says I'm driving. Like, I like being in, like, the Pelican in Halo 1, but being first person, or being in the passenger seat of the Warthog at first person, and you're, like, bumping around and shit. I should go like, I should go like mechanic here and fix this uh, tank. Is there no mechanic? Oh, that's odd. So I'm gonna go on medium tank.
crap. Oh, there's the turret again. Shit. I can't see it in the fog. Ah! Shit. How do I join the game? Uh, did you download the uh, launcher in the... Um, that I linked in the dis in the Discord? Because from there, all you have to do is when you launch, uh, select the game, a path too far, I think it's called, and then uh, hit servers, and it should then you should scroll down and be able to find it. Should be a red star, and it should be have co-op, and then you just uh, double click it, and then you go. So the turret's like on the other side of these rocks on the left. Oh, we might have we might have killed it, did we? It's almost down. Oh, the barracks are so close. Says Professor Giggles is on the other team. Can you join the other team? Thirty minutes remaining. Oh, cool. All truck ready. Yes, sir. Come reporting. Oh, our attack begins. That's interesting. I, I, that could be fun to try to try at some point too. Oh, I got all the tanks, no aircraft, though. Lame. You know what? Can I get a four truck yet? Oh, it's too expensive. Now you get to see what it looks like on the other side of Gap Gen. It even makes noises, that's cool. The tank is so powerful, it's pushing the tank away. Yeah, the, the harvester does that too. It harvests so much that it's uh, it pushes the truck backwards. Or, or truck is OP, I love the or truck. If there was a competitive uh, renegade or this game, I would either be a Chinook pilot or an or truck the whole time. This map looks like it should be perfect for aircraft. Damn shame. Oh, that's why you went spy. But the, well, no, when this game launched, though, this match, it said it was it was three v three, nine bots in each team. But then it went back to whatever. Is there like a? Can I just look at the chat log? Because uh, the messages keep going past. V2 launcher ready. 
Well, I obviously went the wrong way. If you're going to be an ore truck, you must become a technician. Might as well do it right now. Yeah, you got to place the class as well as the uh, the vehicle. Mechanic would probably be better. There is a mechanic class in this game. I, I, I've i only seen it the one map. He has a wrench. Unless the engineer has a wrench too, man. So, like the There's three different like repair people classes. It's, it's, it's bizarre. For a red alert game, I figured it was just... You would just have engineer... What? There's Titans? That was an awesome game, by the way. Battlefield 2142. Such a cool mode to have, like, the two Titans. And, like, your teams are, like, launching out of escape pods on them and manning the turrets on them and shit. Going in. Oh, there's a little pit. <laughs> Sound, they all sound pretty good too. Enemy service depot is under attack. Enemy power plant is under attack. Heavy tank ready. You're in? Hey, there you are. Cobra General. You must not lose, Commander. Oh, nice. I found a way for my truck to not uh, move backwards. Canes in the game. <laughs> Hail the Messiah. Our Kaon has been given a commendation for killing enemies. Nice. Look at this. This is a Soviet windshield if I've ever seen one. Just all greased up and yellow, rusty. Oh, demolition truck armed. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> it's just the windshield's dirty. It's just I happen to be in an ore field, so that's why it's all yellow. Makes sense now. Uh, F2. Unless you want to do voice chat. I'm not sure if there's voice chat. Uh, Styles was asking earlier if we could do the Discord chat, which we always could. F2 speaks to all, but, like, there's nobody on the other team, so it's like, what's the point of, uh... <laughs> doing team text chat over all chat. I think it's like F1, F2, F3 or whatever. I'm th I'm still thoroughly impressed by this game. I'm really sad that I missed out on this game in its heyday. The fact that it has a co-op mode is really neat though. Like, And it's not uh, pathetically easy. Like it's fairly easy but it's not like embarrassingly easy. Like it's not fun. Mind you, I, I only caught uh, Renegade when it was, like, nearing the end of its cycle, too. I had it as, for, for ages as a kid, but I never thought to play actual multiplayer on it until I was, like, fucking 18 or something. And I was like, oh yeah, I should just, like, go online and try. I'm not getting very many resources in this. I thought it was like a thousand from getting diamonds. My first play of Renegade was when I got a DVD drive. And the first decade of CNC, CNC collection. Oh, they had a first decade CNC collection? That's cool. Oh, it's a mix of ores and gems. I feel like when I was doing the gems... Oh, yeah, I think you're right, actually. Yeah, the, the icon shows both. That makes sense. Still, though, I feel like... How much money do you get from regular war? I'll go, I'll go mine the regular war next. Uh, I didn't realize I did a collection like that for the first decade. I honestly think that Renegade was my first Command & Conquer game. Because I never played, I played Red Alert 2 a little later in my life. Again, when I was like 18, 19 or something. I had Renegade for when I was like 12, because I played it at a buddy's house and I was like obsessed with it. And then I played like Red Alert. Yeah, Red Alert 2 is my next game, the next Command Conquer I played. And then probably 3, and then uh, Red Alert 3. And then Tip Sun, actually. I never actually played Tip Sun, I, pa I bypassed that game. I'd like to go back to it. I tried going back to it, but it's hard. It's a bit hard to control and stuff now. I would love it if they remastered it. <laughs> Tip Wars is the uh, three, right? Command Conquer three, because that game's really good. But Red Alert one. Tip Sun and Tip Dawn, I never, uh, I never got through, or I never, like, played. I, I bought the re remastered collection. Oh, 350 credits, okay. I bought the remastered collection, but it's, like, it looks great, and it plays great and everything, but it's, they're old, they're, like, they're, like, Warcraft 1 old, you know? 
Like, even if they remastered Warcraft 1, not remade or rebooted, like, it would still play as shitty as vanilla Warcraft 1. Red Alert, RA2, and then Tip Sun, and then Dune 2000. Yeah, uh, two oh, sorry, Generals. Yeah, I completely forgot about Generals. Generals was my first Command and Conquer game. I always forget that that, like, that's my, that, that's my favorite one, I think. Red Alert 2 and Generals are my favorite uh, Command Conquer games. I was watching some uh, pro Generals matches the other night. Man, Generals is so fun. Another game that drastically needs either a remaster or a sequel. Dr. White, yeah. That, has that guy made another Command Conquer video? His Command Conquer videos are really fun. And by the way, if you haven't watched my vi my newest video there, Mighty Sherlock, you should watch it. Because, uh... It's not doing too hot, I'm afraid. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bit sad, because I, really, I, I was really proud of that one. And it was, was kind of dead on arrival. Unless it unless it has like a second wind, which I'll admit a lot of my other videos did, even my Battle for Middle Earth video, but its second wind was like three days in, and it went from fucking like 700 views to like 90,000. My uh, Warcraft video is uh, kind of struggling right now. Don't know why. Maybe it was just timing. Maybe I, I put it up at the wrong time or something. The algorithm has forgotten me already. <clears throat> GLA is a faction I play to be sweaty with. Usually when I bully my friends and family, I bully them as you know, in the USA. Yeah, they're all, like, all the factions are so diverse and fun in that game. That's what I love about it. And it's like, you, would you, could you call it racist? I wouldn't even consider it, but I'm not those cultures. Like, I know all the Chinese have really funny accents and stuff, and they have hackers, right? It's like their money-making operation. The only, okay, the only... I've always had this criticism. The only criticism I have of all Command & Conquer games is that infantry are awful. And by infantry, I mean, like, their basic mainline rifle infantry. They're all, like, that's one of my favorite type of units to make. Like, Terran Marines are awesome. Musketeers and Age of Empires. Man-at-Arms, shit like that. But uh, in all the Command & Conquer games, like, Rangers, Conscripts, GIs, they're all junk. And I think the main reason why is because their range is awful. And they can get run over by vehicles. Vehicles running over infantry makes them pretty bad. But it makes sense, I guess, like a tank could run over an infantry. But I don't know, I kind of, I, I wouldn't mind it if, I wouldn't mind trying a version that didn't have running over infantry. Um, but that's what I would do. If for every infantry in all the Command Conquer games, I'd give them like 50% 50, 50 to 100% more range. Because they have, like, assault rifles. You, you'd think they should be able to, like, shoot fairly far. Especially in a building. Maybe if you put them in buildings, their range should get increased as well. And I don't think they do. So, like, almost every unit can just outrange them. It's a damn shame. Because they're, yeah. Hey, Styles. Welcome to my pit. I've been here for, like, 20 minutes. I'm surprised we haven't won yet. You gotta get blessed by the algorithm. Yeah, that Battle for Middle Earth video was definitely blessed, but my Warcraft... Well, all my videos are roughly between uh, 20 and 30,000, besides my Battle for Middle Earth deathless. Um, and they usually get to 30,000 within like two weeks to three weeks, which is pretty cool. But yeah, this Warcraft 1 one, it, 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 it took like almost 24 hours to get like 100 views. Oh, not sorry, 1,000. Like, all my videos, within within 24 hours, they had over a 1,000 views, and this one is like 1,200, and it's and it's going up by like 5 every 2 or 3 hours. I guess I was spoiled with my Battle for Middle Earth. My Battle for Middle Earth video, every t like, I would be talking to somebody on FaceTime, and then I would look down, and it would be an extra 100. Like, every time I look down, like every 2 or 3 minutes, an extra 100 would go by. It's wild. But yeah, nobody nobody's feeling Warcraft 1 lately. Heavy tank, ready. Generals is my sweat. RA3 is my brothers in the CNC. My friends. Yeah, I'd say Generals would be, if I was to be sweaty at all of them, I'm not. I'm sweaty right now. So. Um, it's 
I fucking have ten thousand dollars. I should actually like get aggressive here. I, I've been mining for too long. Um, but yeah, Generals is the one I played like so much. I never played online. Though. I never played any of the the rank card games online. What's funny about Generals is that in Germany, all infantry are robots, including Generals and Terrors are replaced with RC dump. Really? Is that some sort of? It has to be some sort of censorship thing, eh? That's interesting. I guess like. I don't know. I can't comment on what's racist and what's not racist because I'm just a vanilla, blue-eyed white guy. But like the terrorists, I can see the terrorist unit being racist. But at the same time, like it's a cool unit, and like the Nod have them. They're they're not called terrorists, and they don't have turbans on their head, you know. But I don't know. Especially because the game came out so close to 9/11, I feel like I'm I'm amazed that it actually came out. But I'm glad it did. Because it was like a perfect balance of like goofy but not goofy, you know? Where they had like realistic units as opposed to like Red Alert where they had like time traveling tanks and shit like that, you know? So, what does a mad tank do? Rangers are pretty sick in general. Swap them to flashbangs and they do some drive bys with Humvees or flybys. Yeah, the. the but that's the, that's the thing though. Like, why would you. Like, the rangers, the, the flashbangs, shouldn't really kill people. Because it, it basically makes their default attack worthless. Like, why would you use their assault rifle? And, like, they don't do a lot of damage to tanks. If you couldn't run them over, then their assault rifles could actually kill tanks. I tried to do one of the levels in generals, like, infantry only. Harmonic shockwave generator. Press Q to detonate. Um, but it's like, yeah, like, as soon as you get flashbangs, yeah, get get rid of their assault rifles. And I think that, don't they fire it with their assault rifles as well? Like, they automatically just, like, shoot flashbangs every now and then? And it one-shots all the garrison. Yeah, and then it, it that's why it, it's... I liked Red Alert 2's garrison system. Like, all the units garrison the buildings, they were formidable. And you needed, like, a flame tank or something to get them out, or a toxin tractor in General's case. But the, the Rangers just, like, insta-deleted the entire garrison with one flashbang, you know? The flashbang should be like a timed attack. Or like an ability, you know, like cooldown with like one minute or some shit, you know? So like while you're shooting with your assault rifle, you can click. Flashbang! And they would fire a flashbang. And it, it shouldn't kill infantry, it should like stun them or something so you can get some more shots off. The fact that it deletes enemies, especially when you're firing out the windows of a Humvee. I like the idea of firing out the windows of Chinooks and Humvees, because that's like my favorite units to combat Chinook. But it's also, like, pretty pretty OP. Like, rocket bees are so fucking good that you don't even need tanks. It's like, why would I make high-tech American tanks when I could just put five missile troopers in a Humvee? Oh, I pressed Q and it kicked me out of the tank. Oh. Was that me? Was that the Mads tank doing that? Oh, so it's like a... That's a... It's like a suicide slash siege tank or something? That was fucked up. Same with toxic tractors, so really flimsy and only good against infantry and light vehicles. Yeah, and then, like, if, if infantry are so bad, then why would you make toxin tractors when you could just make a quad cannon? Because a quad cannon's really good against infantry, too. I guess with toxic tractors, you can kill garrisons. But if you have enough quad cannons, you outrange the, the rangers in the building, unless they have rocket troopers, too, or whatever. Dragon tanks, those are filthy. Yeah, but at the same time, the dragon tank makes sense because it's a flamethrower tank. I like, especially with a faction like China and the fact that they have an infantry general commander. They're that like their infantry is so bad. Like I love the idea that they have, where like you, the more um, infantry you have, like the, they give each other buffs and stuff, but they still die in one hit. And then obviously you could just go pathfinders with America and just like instantly delete every infantry within like 10 miles without even them seeing you 
minigunners are sick, but like they're only good against like aircraft, really. And you you, you just build the the APCs because the APCs come with ten free or eight free minigunners inside. Like bunkers and stuff. Like the Chinese bunkers are cool, but like the only useful unit to put inside is rocket troopers. Like if putting a putting a rifleman inside of a bunker should allow you to kill to range in on a rocket trooper, I would think. I know missile launchers have more range and stuff because they're missiles. But thinking of, of like a rock, paper, scissors thing. Because right now, rangers counter other rangers. Like, so, rock beats rock. But gets beat by scissors and paper. You know? If that makes sense. Mad T's tank is basically an earthquake bomb suicide. You know? oh, okay, okay. Cool. It's a cool unit. I like that. You can't run over minigunners? Really? Not true? That's interesting. But like nobody goes minigunners still. Which is crazy because minigunners are like clutch against aircraft. But you know what also is good against aircraft? Gatling tanks. <laughs> oh, you're just saying nothing will stop our bullets. I like how the picture has them with an AK-47 too, and it's like, that's not a minigun, it's not even close to a minigun. Veteran tank hunters are still really good, and then with infantry training, minigunners are quite frustrating to deal with. And this new stealth, since China's detection is shit, not really shit, it's not shit, not. okay. I saw it's like, when, no matter what, oh, let's do APC. I've never, I still have never seen them, like, used on uh, multiplayer matches. I'd like to see it. I always get excited when they do, like, factions that you not normally see. It's always this laser general, air force general, and then nuke general is a big one. And if you do see an infantry general, they only ever go APCs. All right, get in, Eric. Who else needs a ride? Who's this guy over here? How about score? Are you coming? Guess not. Okay. Styles is in. All right, let's go. We've got hostiles! Straight ahead! See? Dead infantry. Alright, giggles, alright. Can I get past this flame tower? Oh shit, okay, hang on. Oh, there's two of them. This was a bad idea. Oh, there's a bunker right here, though. Look at this, bunker. It's got Tiberium. Oh, I'm going behind this. I'm going behind this war factory here. Yes, 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 yes. All right, everyone out. Saboteur team. All right, how do we kill this thing? Does it have like a control panel like the in Renegade? Oh, it does. Yes. That's pretty sick, boys. That's pretty sick. Oh, we have it coming. Oh no, that's Giggles. I, I, I so used to be on the Russian team. Oh! Oh shit, he's got fucking tight. What? Oh, is that what this thing does? I don't have enough money. No! Minigunners are expensive and not meta, so you won't see them much, unfortunately. They're still strong, and super hackers get so- Oh, super hackers, that's true, I forgot about super hackers. Super hacker, ready for Nika. Oh, we're going to- hang on, uh, stop, let me get a- let me get a rocket or something, hang on. I need a- I need a better weapon for this situation. Oh, wait, no, who gets C4? Uh, engineer? Yes, 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 yes. I got C4, ready to go. Assault crawlers are nice, but they're slow and surprisingly fast. These things? Man, that looks awesome, though.
Oh, Drewski's a spy, is he? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, it's got 30 seconds. Oh, fuck that. I thought that was a... Uh... Oh, Styles, uh, we got incoming. Did he just... Did my C4 go off? Shit. Oh, okay. I thought I thought like a, a bot came in and disarmed it. <laughs> oh, it did work. Okay, I was gonna say, where did I? Uh... For, for 30 seconds, that C4 didn't do a lot of damage. Do vehicles have other weapons, or just, just so as the one weapon? Oh, it's also the fire's music. <laughs> Soviet refinery has been destroyed. Medium tank barrack ready. Under attack. There's no uh, artillery in this map either. Medium tank ready. Awaiting orders. Medium tank ready. We've just got three medium tanks. Oh, there are Turks down, nice. Oh, is it already dead? Oh man, their whole base is almost dead already, okay.
Give me a Shinook map, come on. 30 minutes remaining. <gasps> we have a Shinook map, boys! Can't afford it, though. It's 1200 bucks, so let's go kill shit in total. New construction options. Hein D? Better than a Hein E. <laughs> hey. Oh, it's Grenadier. I like how Grenadier is literally, in Command Conquer games, it's literally a guy with a hand grenade. Like, <laughs> like even Tempest Rising. Tempest Rising has a Grenadier unit, and it's just a dude chucking grenades. It's like, why not give them a grenade launcher? sense i kind of like how you can do damage to almost everything with the basic d default assault rifle that's very like strategy gamey because you could have easily have gone like the realistic route and been like oh yeah there are vehicles right small arms shouldn't do any damage to them but even i think even in all the command conquerors like gi still do at the very minimum one damage to vehicles if at all Like, I know Command Conquer Generals in this is basically like Battlefield, but could you imagine it was like the same setting with like bases and buildings and stuff? Tower, like, you could build. I guess, like, since to keep it like as casual as possible, it's good that they don't have a commander class. But, however, that would be cool to have like a commander building stinger sights and uh, clutch spots and stuff. But for the most part, it would just be fucking probably commanders building like Tesla coils, a thousand of them. Oh, I can almost afford a. Uh... Can almost afford that Chinook. I need fifty dollars, and I can get a Chinook, and then I'll, I'll, I'll take it to a, I'll, I'll take it to a sniper nest, if I can find one. <laughs> oh, there we go. Else, nobody else needs a ride anywhere. Oh, Drewski's in. How'd you get in? Okay. Not say. Oh, sorry, Styles. I didn't see. You. I didn't see you come in. That's why. Okay. So the enemy base is. Can I go up here? Oh my God. See how cool it'd be if I could pick up vehicles. I could take like an artillery gun. Oh, we're taking fire. I think this is a good sniper nest, though. Or should I just like fly into the enemy base? Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh no! Hey, we survived! We're in! That's actually cool. I didn't realize the choppers like fell down, like, uh, you know, crashed. I thought they would just explode in midair. I 
I saw Command and Conquer popped up, I thought you were going to be playing an RTS game. We're, we're still playing a Command and Conquer game, but now we're playing uh, the offshoot. They experimented with base building Renegade X, but I think they scrapped it due to complication and caused code and sync wise. That would make sense, especially if you're if it's like a mod like that where it's not built for it. To have base building, you'd need to have it like oh shit. To have the to have that in the game, I feel like the game would have to be like built around that mechanic. I like these bots just like mindlessly coming into repair. Oh shit! Fucking where the shotgun get me. It's alright, I can get out of Chinook. Choppers sound really good too. All right, who needs a ride? Drewski definitely needs a ride. Okay. Let's go out and see if there's anybody else needs help. Uh, what are what are you? Are you like a an engineer or something? What is this? Eric, what are, what what the hell are you? You're like running with your hands in the air. I guess he's not interested. <laughs> oh, he's repairing the turret. It's all right. We'll let him repair that, and then we'll uh, shock trooper. Okay. All right, fine. Don't take the free run. This guy here. Hold on. Okay. Oh shit! Taking heat. Wow! What the hell weapon was that? Tanya. Oh, commando killed us. Fuck! There goes two Chinooks. <laughs> Just gotta say that chick fucking missled onto us pretty hard. Gun's dead. That's good. That's good. Too bad I couldn't get in that thing.
this uh, like this game kind of like brings me back to the cancelled StarCraft Ghost. I don't know if you saw any of the old, old, old ass trailers, but the multiplayer in StarCraft Ghost was a lot like this. Um, maybe not exactly like it, but they had like team on team with vehicles, and I think there was uh, one particular mode that had like a, a Terran factory that you could capture and stuff like that. But imagine that, you know, like one person is, a, is an SCV, or, or a, few, a few players are SCVs gathering minerals, and Another player is driving around a drop ship, dropping off marines into enemy territory and shit. Just like, fuck. The uh, the potential for all that is just... It's so cool to me. I know a lot of the mainstream audience might not like that, but... Oh, if you kill yourself like that, you lose all your money? Oh, no! Well, that sucks. I had enough for a Chinook that I was all excited. Oh, he's got a Chinook too. Oh, fuck! When you get a chance, bring it back to base. I'll come. I'll come in. Super Raj, got another guy at Foxhole. Are they in our? Are they? Are they in our squad? Only fit one person. Yeah, you should have a bunch of guys be able to sit in the back. That, oh, if Yuri, if Yuri had a faction in this game, that's what it would be. It would be the slave, the slave truck, and then you'd have like four players like jump out with shovels <laughs> or bots or whatever. That'd be fucking sick. Oh, it must be in the group. Nice, right on. So you can hear me when I'm talking. Have you played this before? Because this game is sick, man. I, I've, I've said it like a half dozen times, so I'm, I'm really sad that I missed out on this game when it was in its prime. I feel like I would have played this game to death. This would have been like my sweat game. <laughs> Especially to see the actual, like, na naval on naval combat. Oh. But I don't think they have, like, super, like, uh, nukes and stuff. So, like, my tactic of being a, uh, a like, a transport chopper. Oh, there's a helo, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, got, I got a C4. So, if you could, like, do I have C4? Yeah, I have C4. I was gonna say you should drop me off. I got C4, so I can like plant it on a, an enemy building or something. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna land this bitch and we're gonna ditch it. Somebody else in the area? Oh, Eric! Eric wants a ride now. Alright, are all the A guns done? 
should be able to like land on like their enemy, the building, and get inside. Yeah, that's what I would, that's what I would do in Renegade. I would get this. I'd get a player with like a an ion cannon beacon, and I would fly him in, drop him off. He would plant the beacon on the roof, and then he'd get back in. And we'd go back to base. He'd buy another one, and we just do it. And we just we just dismantle enemy structures. Okay, I'm going. Oh shit. Okay, I'm going for that uh, war factory. Oh fuck. All right, we're good. Oh no, they got people inside. Ah! C force planted. Nice, here. Nice. Oh shit! Oh, I'm down, but my C force planted. So us in the base needs a ride. Yeah, keep killing us, Styles. You're feeding my helicopter addiction. All right, Giggles. I'm gonna drop you off. I'm gonna try to come back to base after. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Let's go. Let's go real high on this one. Is that a friendly hel helicopter? Oh, my other chopper's still there. <laughs> That's funny. All right, it's all you. LZ's hot. We're taken back. We're RTB. We're RTB. Oh, no. Ow. Nine health, nine health, nine health. Oh my god, my fucking props are on fire. I survived! Whee! Any more saboteurs? I like how, how creamy these controls are for the helos. If it was like fucking battlefield controls, <laughs> I would have crashed this some bitch 15 times. Oh, in the way. Enemy chopper! Oh shit! Styles is the MVP. Oh, we got some. Okay, Super Rod, you're in. All right. I can do the same thing I did last. I'm going to drop you off on the roof. Holy fuck, we got 12 people in here now. That's dope. It's too bad there's no parachutes. You can just, like, jump out, parachute down. All right, we're going in. All right, it's all you, Super Raj. Fuck it out. Hell yeah. We are RTB.
Oh, Super Rogers is back. All right, who, got anybody else? Oh, something exploded over there. Oh no, he's getting uh, he's getting behind. Okay. All right, Giggles, you ready? All right, we, it looks like we have escort. Let's head in. I'm gonna raise my altitude. Get to the chopper. Lig literally, like, it, imagine there's a game like, uh, like anything, Halo, like this. I would drive a Pelican. That's all I would do. A game with this scope, I would pick up a Pel- I'd get a Pelican, pick up six players, fucking fly them in, drop them off, and go back home. Oh, we're taking heat. Go up for the roof. Alright, it's all you. Fuck it out. Oh! Okay, I died too. Oh, I'm still alive. Woo! Oh! There's fall damage. Whoops. <laughs> All right, I'll try a hind now, because I actually haven't ever used a hind yet, so. That shit's so fun, though, just being a fucking transport chopper. <laughs> oh, we got another person in the transports right on. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting to use the, uh... The speakers. Oh shit! Do they actually kill our shit? Oh my god! The bots. Did the bots use a, a a suicide truck. Oh my god! That's sick. The bots like that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh no, that's friendly. What's the end? Where? Oh. oh my god, whoever has that fucking rocket launcher is annoying as shit. I love how my helicopter from like an hour ago is still here. So I take that back to base. <laughs> oh, fucker! Tanya, that's who got me last time, too. God damn. Can I fucking shoot through this window? Well, my hind got wrecked. So many helicopters. <laughs> there hasn't been a map with the uh, fighters in a long time. I feel like we have, we've only played that one map once. Where there was Mig, Migs and uh, the cat, the Kata, or the Katak, with the World War II, the prop plane. It's like different icons for these vehicles. Artillery yes, and right on their styles. We need you a mining though.
enemy war factory is under attack. Already? Killed Stalin himself, I think. All the Soviets kill me in the corner of the war factory, so... Got five health. Oh, that fire's gonna kill me. Oh, no. Building is this? Oh, jeez. Enemy war <clears throat> is under attack. Soviet war factory has been destroyed. <laughs> Smile. This vehicle's cool. I'm imagine like people who's played this a lot probably know like the good spots in every map to uh, be artillery and where to shoot. Oh, this looks good. Shooter core is pretty good. Fight of the Valkyries. Ha! <laughs> That's actually pretty good, actually. <laughs> be close to killing this thing. Unless they're just repairing the shit out of it.
Oh, must have done something. Killed something there. <laughs> Let's go. Let's start chilling the shit out of it. Fourteen people. Holy fuck. Yeah, I, I found a good spot with artillery. And I was just like bombarding the shit out of their uh, base. Oh, there's one helo. No ships. Sad face. Oh no! We're, we're Soviets, we got Chinooks. Yes! Why does everyone shoot each other? What's going on? With this many people, we could try doing like... PvP or something. Oh yeah, we just did this map. Like. There we go, this is the dream. Supply truck ready. Yeah, we're full. It's free candy. <laughs> hey kid, you want a bike? That'd be the worst of that if I was a kid and somebody came, hey, you want some candy? Be like, fuck yeah, man. It's at my house. Fucking drive the van. Take off your pants. This candy better be good. <laughs> this is pretty fucking funny. <laughs> This bot just came in here and just nuked us. Oh no, we're so close. Oh, oh your grenade's still in. What? One of us is still hidden inside with a grenade. <laughs> Oh, we got two transport helicopters, Drewski. <laughs> no problem, we'll take a load. I'll take a load. Anybody else? Anybody else?
got a clear shot to your foxhole. Oh shit! Oh, this thing's still dead. Right on. Hey, tell me. The, uh, the, uh, what's it? The fucking... The enemy war factory's down. I, I went in there myself and tried to kill it, but it was already down. See if anybody else needs a ride. Oh. Got a couple guys here, catting, scorp. Alright, we're good. Let's go. was epic. <laughs> so what's left to destroy? The Rado? Oh shit, they have an A gun over there. Oh fuck. Ah! I now know that the right side has an uh, AA gun still up, so I'll go to the radome first thing now. Super Raj. John McKinley, no. I want one more. Another ten seconds or so. Nope, Drisky's coming. Oh, score buying something? I got Yeah he is, okay. Let's go! Oh, they have an A-gun right there, too. Yikes! Bail, bail, bail! Fucking kill this thing. Alright, she's down. I'm heading home. Thank you. 
Oh, Drewski, fancy to see you here. <laughs> Now that the AA gun is down, I can uh, take you there safely again. Let's see if anybody else wants a ride. Oh, Styles needs to get through. Alright, is that it? Okay. A rotation. Well, the bots got helos. Go, go, go. <laughs> this is so fucking sick. I love this. I know I'm just dropping off like one person at a time, but OH SHIT! It's so it's so cinematic, like flying in, dropping people off, getting out of there, bugging out, under fire. I should get points for having passengers. Mad tank ready. Oh my god, whatever I fucking hate spawning in this view, building, whatever the hell this place is. That little refinery. We got Drewski again. Eric. Is this John guy coming in? He's got a rocket launcher. Well, maybe not. I'll give it another few seconds. Oh, nobody else is coming. Alright. Oh, somebody. Oh, somebody wants a ride. Hang on. Super am just getting the demo truck. Oh shit! We got a hostile halos! Oh my god! Serpentine! Serpentine! Oh my god, we survived. Alright, park it out. Bro, they have like four, look at that, they have four helos. Oh shit! They have four helos all stacked on top of each other. On their uh, helipad. <laughs> Like, I think we're at the spot where, like, every time I die, I can just afford another chopper, so. Oh, no, that's not mine. Teams are stacked. <laughs> These bots are cute.
stars. We're going to wait and see if anybody... Oh, got a couple. All right, let's move it. Trying to drop you off at the ray dome so it can... Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Is there like an anti-air truck or something? Like a... That's... Yeah, what, what's what's the best anti-air? I guess I can make a hind of my own. Mammoth for anti air, okay. Oh, I guess, yeah, they have those missiles, right? Ah, oh, well, I got a hind anyway, so. This thing only has machine guns, right? Or does it have rocket launchers, too? I never knew if you could switch weapons in vehicles. Got home. How's Renegade? This this game's sick, man. Red Alert Renegade. We have 13 people in right now. If you want to play, you should pop in there, Italian. Oh crap! They still have an anti-air on the right. Shit out of ammo? Oh my god. Didn't know this, <laughs> Pretty important demo of the importance of gear. Yeah, the, the, I'm surprised there's no fighters in this map. We, the first map we played tonight, which was like, what, four, third, three hours ago, had it, like MiGs and um, prop airplanes, but we haven't seen that since. It's only been, we, we rarely got Navy too. A lot of maps are like medium tank is like the highest tech you get. I prefer I prefer every map to have helos and <laughs> fucking uh, ships, of course. Oh wait, didn't we? Didn't reload my fucking gun. Oh, that sucks. That means Soviet Express. It'd be cool if the Chinook had like an ammo, like well, unlimited ammo for most infantry, anyways. But it'd be cool if there, that was a mechanic. If there was ammo, that the Chinook, you could get into load your, like reload your ammo. Oh, 
Oh, Giggle's getting in. All right, here we go. We got Mega Commando Squad here. I took down the AA gun on the right side, so I don't know if we can risk going to the right to go for their war factory, or should we go? Well, let's go right. Taking a little small arms fire, not the one to run. Oh, there's another A gun. Fuck! They have an engineer behind that turret. They have an engineer behind that turret. Oh, well. All right, oh, we, I'm not going right again. We'll go left. <laughs> That's not mine. It's got really good mechanics too when you're like in line for waiting for vehicles. They all come in properly and they don't get like stuck. You feel like in a game like in a game built today, the vehicles are getting like stuck in the air or something like that. So the left is pretty clear for now, but we'll see if there's any... I killed like three helos on my last hind trip, so hopefully they don't have any more of them in here. Get away with this? Oh, I think I can. Hey, there we go. I didn't do a whole lot, but I, I felt good. I felt good. I felt like part of the team. All right, let's get a fucking... Oh, sea mist. There's got to be Navy on this map. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, you do get Chinook Sun. Wait, I'm allies now. Oh, oh my god. All you have is an air... Oh, shit. Okay. There's too much to be done. It's a map, it's a map. It's a map called Sea Mist. Press you. Oh, there, there, there's a chat uh, log. Great right on. Oh, oh, this mission has an objective. Okay, that's cool. That's really neat. Mo most of this has just been like beat the uh, the enemies. It's fine, but I gotta go food shopping. I'll come back. You saw my one up there. Alright, there, Junior. Okay, thanks for hanging out. I don't know how much it's 8 o'clock now. Maybe we'll go maybe another like half hour to an hour or something. And then uh, we'll call it because I should go out and get some dinner myself. I actually need to go grocery shopping as well. I ran out of all my necessities last night. I gotta get some like eggs, milk, and shit. Standard stuff, you know? I thought that was a real player saying that. I was like, it's not terrible. 
There's a lot of bunny hopping. I, I remember playing Renegade X, there was a lot of bunny hopping, which made things really annoying. Sludge! Hey, Sludge. How you doing, man? Warcraft 2 tomorrow. Uh, that's not a bad idea. Although Joff, remember Joff wanted to uh, continue playing co-op Warcraft 3. So I don't know if I'll do that tomorrow. Maybe we can postpone that and do Warcraft 2. But uh, but yeah, with the turnout we got for this tonight, I, I'd be super down if anybody else wants to play Warcraft 2 sometime online. That'd be kind of fun. That one's just as easy to get running. You just do the same thing. You just uh, download it and fucking launch it. All right, you're out there, right there, Derek. I'll see you. See you around, buddy. Thanks for thanks for playing. Oh, I guess I could wait for a longbow. Let's wait for a longbow. Installing software for next time, but the uh, question, did the launcher set off anyone's antivirus? Didn't sign off mine. Did I play Rising Storm Vietnam? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, I, my favorite was Pacific, uh, I, Rising Storm Pacific. That was, oh, I played the shit out of that. And standard Red Orchestra 2. Red Orchestra 2 was so good. Uh, Rising Storm Pacific was awesome. Vietnam was really good too, though. I really like Vietnam. Getting out there, uh, Chaos Wave, everybody. Thanks for hanging out, man. You should, you should play next time. I think I think we started something here, like us playing, like just like when it was just like four or five of us. Now it's 14. Like there's all these other people turning up. I'd say a good like third of these people are our, are our guys. Our Chaos, Giggles, Drewski, Sludge. Uh, who's the other guy? Oh, he might not be in here anymore. Oh. I love this game, not as much as Renegade or Ren-X, but I played it. Oh, so you, you played this already too. Right on there, Sludge. Well, so what what, what day do they normally have events? Because they, they already said they have events in this, or like game nights. And, because uh, even like when I downloaded last night today, it was it was zero the entire time. It, it, it filled up real quick when we started playing. It'd be really cool if they were to like do this uh, for, do the same thing with Renegade X, but with this, like give it this treatment, you know? Is everyone just going Lombos? Because that's hilarious. Because this game is awesome. Like I'm having a great time with this. I got you. What reloads this thing?
It even lights up when it's actually working. That's cool, so you know it's actually good. This makes me think of Battlefield 1942. That game. Oh, I know. I, I think I was talking about that earlier. That game, I used to do what I did with the Chinooks, but in Battlefield, I used to like fly planes, and I used to like fly into hot zones and like land and like drop people off or pick people up or uh, let them. Par you could parachute in that game, right? So yeah, I'd let them uh, jump out and parachute out and stuff. Sam sites. That's your Discord. Oh, oh yeah, you can't even do uh, ore trucks in this, eh? Wow. Some spilled over into this. And about six hours before now, the Renex server fills. Renex is more EU based, despite the Desert Americans. Uh, so can you launch like Re uh, Renex from this launcher without having to like download it separately, or do you need to download it on your own? Oh yeah, let's get this tower. Oh my god. Styles, how are you not dead up here? I've already taken 90, 92 damage by standing here. Oh, I'm on fire. Thing. The only reason these work on this launcher is because it's using a W3D engine. The devs each mod is each other. Oh, that's cool. Oh my god, they're like fucking breaking through here. I gotta go, uh, oh my god, can I go repair guy? No, the pillbox! Shit. Reinforcements have arrived. Oh, is that our... Can we do, like, other shit now? Ten minutes until the Navy gets here. Oh, oh my god, can we use the Navy ships? Can't rebuild stuff, eh? Damn it. I should have did this from the start. is interesting in PvP, the Soviets can build anything but have a weekly co and have to win by 25 minutes, but allies get free tanks spawned in. Hey, that's neat. Asymmetrical, uh, asymmetrical stuff. That's really cool. Installed. I, I feel like we could do this again sometime, or I, even just to play on my own casually. the PvP in these games because I, I haven't played either PvP in a long time. I played Renegade X PvP for just a brief moment and it was like so stalemated that like nothing could get done. It was just like everyone had mammoth tanks and we're just running around 
crushing ass, <laughs> and just like everyone was stuck in both bases. So the engineer can repair, right? I guess I go mechanic. I got you. I was like doing this in Battlefield. Oh, I got hands where I was doing the same thing. Yeah, being in the, rent, uh, the helicopters in Battlefield, and I would go into the passenger seat, and I would just, like, take the drill and just, like, aim straight down and drill the floor because you could repair the helicopter while it was in the air. It looked funny on the other team, like, seeing just, like, sparks flying out of a fucking uh, a helicopter as it's flying around, but it was so, I used to get, like, thousands of points a match, too. It was so dope. Infantry flanking me. Stock maps are going to get too small on plow stamina. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. That must have been what I was playing then. One of the stock maps, the standard maps or something. It's like you couldn't go anywhere. You couldn't leave your base. You couldn't take like the secret tunnels anywhere because there's always just guys like just endlessly shooting at each other. I have one health, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, you can spawn in Tanya. I think she's expensive, though. Well, maybe not. I've seen her around, though. Or at least you can, I can hear her do her laugh. <laughs> oh my god, Sludgy scared the shit out of me. I was like, oh my god, there's a hostile tank in here. Oh, you can steal vehicles?
mammoth tank. Need to add help. They do have it. It's in there. It's uh, this is the Red Alert One soundtrack, Ectelion. So Hell March One is here. The music's not very loud though, compared to the uh, gun sounds. It's been 10 minutes by now, holy moly. Sam, say. Oh. PvP, nothing beats stealing a mammoth running over everyone. Wait, or a helicopter, too many slaps. It's just above your money. Oh, I see. Oh, so. Should I wait for, like, ships to come in so I can use them? Oh. Never mind. You just win. That was a cool, that was a cool little, uh. Cool little level. I like that. Yeah, we've had a, a couple, but like this very rare, especially um, especially maps where you could play with uh, like fighters and stuff too, like using a MIG or a aircraft like that. We've only played one so far. Oh, this map, ugh. yucky. Take a break for now. Cool hanging with Joe. Well, thanks for hanging out there, Drewski. I'll probably call her. I'll probably call her in another uh, maybe two or three rounds. Then I gotta feed myself somehow. And then, uh, yeah, tomorrow maybe we could do some either Warcraft two tomorrow or Warcraft three co-op. I I haven't really decided yet. We'll see. I'll, I'll tell you what. We'll see um, how I feel in the morning. Maybe do I really want to commit to like a seven-hour campaign or maybe just a couple two or three rounds of Warcraft two? Did that too, Arcan? Well, that was cool hanging out with you, bro. Thanks for uh, thanks for playing. Well, for a second, we didn't. Uh... For a bit, I didn't think there was going to be a big turnout, but uh, it looks like yeah, we had the, at least like eight of our guys turned up. I don't know how many of theirs. But, yeah, it's good. Water map supremacy, I agree. Even on, even in this game too, water map supremacy. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm going harvesting for this map. Yes, sir. Follow me. I'll get this formation. Oh, I can't control. 
Or can't afford it. Meow. Let's roll out. Like the Discord's in yours. Right on. I'd I play this again for sure. This or even like vanilla. Like, is the, the other server is just vanilla renegade? Is it sludge? Sounds, looks, sounds like we might have a lot of harvesters. <laughs> Let's try to donate to a player to get an ore truck to boost your ego. Ah, yeah. There are some mods here. There's also tips on mod, dune mod, get some warfare mod. I love this weird tank. Because yeah, the only other one with players in it was the top, the Tip Sun one and the vanilla one. And is that vanilla Renegade? And then the Tip Sun one is a Tip Sun. How is the Tip Sun one, by the way? Five hours ago was a game night for Tip Sun Rob. Wow, so it looks like uh, we just timed this perfectly then. <laughs> I'd be down to try, uh, I'd be down to try PvP at some point, too. Like, even like this, with, like, 14 people, you could do seven on each team, and then have bots fill in the rest. That could, that could be fun. God, the, the squishes. It's fun, much more work in progress than this. The issue with bosses is they need to be programmed for the map. If you join the Australian vanilla server, it has bots and half of them just run into walls. Ah! Never styles your Australian bots! He's still walking right side up. <laughs> oh, 
boy, you must know, like, the right routes through here. Has bots though? Because of their levels, have a lot more complex jobs. I'm just surprised they have bots in Renegade X. That's pretty cool too, though. You gotta give them credit for having that stuff. Like, shitty bots are still better than no bots, you know? <laughs> All the bloody rushes. All the blood rushes away from the head, yeah. But my tank? Actually killing their base. that he's just going back and forth in the doorway squishing people. <laughs> there we go. I killed their engineers. I killed their engineers. Go. It's eight, almost 8.30. We'll do one more. One more. Let's be a Navy map. Give me a Navy map for one more. 30 yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No vehicles at all? There is too much to be done. No way. Get out there and hell, kick some ass. Give him hell, boys. Shit. <laughs> I was hoping to do at least a... It's only 10 minutes? Alright, well, we'll do this one, and then if the next one's a Navy map, we'll, I'll do that one. Uh, Navy or Helos. If it's got Helos, I'll do that one too. If not, I'll just cut her off after this. I will, but you guys can obviously keep playing. I recommend you do. Oh, 
Oh, it's a grenader. Oh my god, they're so aggressive. <laughs> oh, flamethrower would have been good in there, actually. Or truck, but yeah, I'm, I'm with you there, Styles. Versus? How do I type that in? That? How do I... Okay, cool. There we go. Yeah, that'll be a good one to end off on. We'll do a versus match. We got a full team, but eight on eight. That's perfect. We got a max server. If there's Chinooks, I'm gonna fucking just commando drop so hard. It's way easier to do commando drops against real players. <laughs> Be surprised. Don't tell me that because it's going to dash my dreams. <laughs> that, that's all I do with Renegade Vanilla would be a, a maps with Chinook. So I'd get a Chinook. Boys would come in with a ion cannon or a nuke. I'd fly, land on an enemy building, then plant the nuke, and then we'd fucking cheese it out of there. Revit, hey! Yeah, we're gonna do a versus match next, and then I'm gonna cut her off at, or I'm gonna leave after that. Oh, did it not go through? Oh no, it's a bot just did a uh, sad face. Cause I gotta go and like, get some food or, it's, it's almost fucking nine o'clock, I don't even know what we open at this time. Oh, did the boat not go through? I hope it did. So how does this work? Ah. Hey, there's Hell March. Everyone's donating credit. Why are people donating credits? Oh, this guy's weak. Let me heal you. Let me heal you. I got him, nice.
How do I heal myself? Can I heal myself with this? Oh my god, I'm so weak. There's a medic over here. Where's their medic? Heal me. Just <laughs> a bunch of medics healing each other. Nice. Oh. It is done. Another medic spread. Okay. Or you can just do exclamation mark yes, or do you have to say exclamation mark vote yes? He has a few boats, but not many. Oh. oh, you get planes though? 30 Reporting. minutes remaining. All truck ready. Reporting. Oh, yay. Yeah, I've never seen that. I've never tried the planes yet. I, I was I was hoping there'd be more maps with planes and... Uh, Push the bridge. How many how many maps are there? No boats at all. Right, shame. We got a yak though. See you and look at all those. Ready. Are these all the maps? This map is like new. I don't think we've seen this one yet. I'm 
seen a lot of yaks falling out of the air, so I'm assuming they're not amazing vehicles. Especially while their defenses are up. <laughs> yeah, the yak map is right through the trees. Really good. Love a map button for sure. There it is. That's a terrible name for an aircraft. <laughs> yak. Because not only is yak just a goofy word, but like, what does yak have to do with like aircraft? It's such a big, heavy animal, too. Oh, it's a company that makes the yaks in uh, Red Alert, Soviet Russia. are interesting to control. Oh, shit! Oh, I'm out of ammo. Shit. Oh, I guess I should, uh... Oh, no! Um... I should have put my landing gear up, should I? Yakov, Yakov Lev, Okay, during World War II, so they were yak numbers. The problem with big yaks is landing gear filled. Yeah, it looks, it looks like landing's probably really annoying. It's cool that they have them, though. Like, honestly, having planes is a neat idea. This, like, this game has everything. It's got warships, it's got submarines, it's got fucking aircraft, helicopters. This game just needs apocalypse tanks. They, this needs to be Red Alert 2 in the same vein. It needs a Red Alert 2 version. 3 if you really wanted to go like hardcore to Japanese and shit. Ah, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs>
They are working on a Renault 2, Renault 2 mod. Is it going to be like in the Renegade X engine? That's sick. Good for them. Good for them. I really hope it goes well for them. Because this, this is awesome. I can only imagine if they had more technology behind it, you know? And the more, like, goofy stuff like chrono harvesters and shit. Rocket troopers. You imagine rocket troopers just fucking flying in? Free launcher here? Okay, I'll take that. Oh my god, they're right here! I didn't even realize they're right there. Experience in the jump jets from Tips on one. Oh, they have jump jets in uh, Tips on one. Okay. This next map has navy, I'm out. Uh. Alright, well I'll just take a look at what, what it looks like. It looks like it's winter. Cool. Feel free to, to plug me. I don't want to plug myself. I was going to say, follow me if you want to watch the VOD, but... Uh... Alright, well, that's cool. That's really cool. I'm really... I'm, like, kicking myself for not having known that existed before. And I wouldn't have if it wasn't for you guys. Like, last night, I was like, man, Red Alert's my favorite, and Renegade was so awesome. And people were like, well, yeah, well, why didn't you play Red Alert Renegade? And I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, I would have crushed that back in the day. Honestly. So this the the so this one up here, Ren Corner Marathon, is that just that's just vanilla Renegade. The co-op mode, yes, yeah, the co-op mode is perfect because you can like play by yourself if you really wanted to. And like still mess around, use vehicles, play whatever. Okay, so it is vanilla. So maybe maybe next time we could try playing that. Oh so, yeah, it's like forty two people in it. Maybe you could play that sometime too. Uh how is the Dune one? How's what what like what's this? And this is Tib Sun one. We can try the Tib Sun one at some point too. Very much work in progress. Only infantry so far. For the Dune one? Is there worms? Because silicon, uh sil silicon. Have you if you've played the game Silica, that's basically this. In Dune. Uh one guy is making it. It's a it's a, exactly like Renegade, but there's a commander on each team, and you build buildings and, like, harvest resources. But it's Dune. There's fucking... Uh, it's all desert planets. There's one faction's human, one faction's alien, like Zerg. So it's... There's no worms, I don't think. But it's... The, the miners are like spice miners. The, the harvesters are gigantic. And it's really cool to drive them around. Um, 
it's a very that's a very work in progress too. But if you in, if, but I would check it out. Uh, I might even check it out myself. I have it. I've bought it, but I haven't played it in like a year. Um, but I wonder if it's got any updates and stuff. Very close infantry only maps. Okay, well, you know what? Well, we could definitely try uh, the Tip Sun one and just Vanilla Renegade sometime. Um, to, okay, so I had, I, I'll have to buy it. Well, I have it. I don't have to worry about buying it. But uh, does this work with Steam? Like the Steam version? There's only like two or three game modes. It's called War of Assassins for a reason, I guess, yeah. Okay, right on. Yeah, we 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 can definitely do another one of these. So, uh, tomorrow, if I still am going to stream or not, I don't know if I will. Um, we have either a, the next co-op Warcraft three campaign with Joff, or we're, we'll we'll we want to try play some Warcraft two versus, um with the same crowd that was here tonight or anybody else that wants to play. We're all bad, so we don't have to worry about, like, being nervous. Like, because I know RTS versus anxiety is a real thing, but all of us are shit, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, I would like to try it at some point. I still want to see if uh, Warcraft 1 can work. I might just buy it myself and see if I can figure it out. Um, But yeah, so it'll be co-op Warcraft 3, uh, or uh, maybe some Warcraft 2. And we'll definitely do this at some point uh, again. Now that we all know how it runs. and Yeah, I, that, me too. There's styles. I should get something to eat as well. It's almost 9 o'clock. I don't even know where I... McDonald's, I guess? Shit. I already ate junk food today. I, I'm trying to eat less of it. But yeah, we'll figure it out. But uh, for everyone who's playing tonight, thanks for playing. That was really fun. Uh, we had a really good crowd turn up. I said at least 8 or 9 of us here in the chat were playing and then a bunch of their guys turned up and it was that's pretty cool and uh keep uh keep watching my video because it's having a hard time <laughs> so uh, uh in the meantime if you haven't joined the discord join discord i'll uh look into the their discord and see what's going on there and uh yeah we'll, we'll take it from there so thanks for watching everyone oh my hockeys are broken <laughs>